Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Wednesday, March 28th, the Wednesday of Holy Week. Today's readings are from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, Psalm 69, and from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26. Today's reflection is from Father Anthony Simone from St. Sebastian Parish in Akron, Ohio. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The Word of the Lord. to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on 
he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says my appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after the other, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the Bread of Life. A reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Anthony Simone from St. Sebastian Parish in Akron, Ohio. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. And morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear. So hearing and speaking and thinking, that's what it means to be human. So maybe we don't always need a great prayer to let the Lord uh, act through us, speak through us, but just a prayer of being opened. Kind of like the Ephatha prayer that Jesus said, be opened in the scriptures. It touches us, touches our ears, touches our tongues. And maybe the way to find the right words and to hearing what he wants to say says to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Because Jesus, his best friend, was always the person who is the victim, the ignored, the marginalized, the person in distress, the, the depressed person. So may we look for the person in our life or the person in our heart who's weary, who needs God's love the most. That's our focus, and we pray for that. Jesus promises us that he'll make us who we are, you know, and who we're meant to be and who the other people need for us to be when we are loving his best friend. For Living Bread Radio, this is Father Anthony Simone from St. Sebastian Church in Akron. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com, where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts. Compassion, Let our hearts be transformed.